Everyone knows that Bluey is one of the most fun and interesting animations out there. There you are! It's no wonder the show became such a massive success with a huge fan base. Oh, right. One of the reasons for this success is the attention to detail that goes into every episode as the creators think about even the smallest things. Do you know all the hidden details in Bluey? Seriously, there are so many details, like in the episode Traders, where the character Chippy has a cherry tattoo on his arm. This is a reference to Cherry, his girlfriend. Now that's true love, right? In this video, you'll discover 19 amazing Bluey details that I bet you didn't notice while watching the show. So hop on board, because another episode of Cinewave is about to begin. Speaking of Cherry, have you noticed that the car's license plate says C? This hints that they're surfers, which totally suits the couple. The plate could also be a nod to the car's name itself, Seagull, and the reason Cherry's car has this name is pretty unexpected. It's a tribute to Seagull Chippy, a series of comedy TikTok videos by Sam Cotton, who voices Chippy. Frisky, who is Bluey's godmother, also has a custom license plate with her initials, FR15K. The numbers can be read as letters if you pay close attention. You can catch this in the episode The Sign when she calls off her wedding with Bluey's uncle. Luckily, everything works out in the end. The same goes for Wendy's car plate, W3ND73, which is just more proof of how much detail goes into the series. Many Bluey fans wish a new child would join Bluey's family, but there are signs that this won't happen. In the first episode of season three, we get a flashback where Bandit mentions wanting to get a vasectomy meaning he can't have any more kids. This part was removed from most versions of the episode, although it wasn't inappropriate. If that's not enough proof, in the episode's surprise, we see adult versions of the characters. In one scene, there's a family portrait of the healers, and no unknown family members are present, indicating that they never had another sibling. While it's a bit of a bummer that we probably won't see Bluey getting a new brother or sister, at least she already has a fun family full of entertaining characters. If you love Bluey's family, comment below with hashtag family. I love it even more. Speaking of having kids, Kids, anyone who watches Bluey knows that Aunt Brandy has trouble having children because she's infertile. This even made Chili worried she might not be able to have kids either, but luckily that wasn't the case with Bluey's birth. But did you know that Brandy's infertility isn't just random? Both she and Chili are red healers, a breed that often faces fertility issues. In the episode The Sign, Brandy actually appears pregnant. She probably went through some kind of fertility treatment, which is amazing because she's always wanted to have kids. Hi girls! In the episode Markets, Bluey receives a $5 bill. Unsure of what to do with it, she eventually spends it on a toffee apple. The bill then starts traveling as different people use it to buy things or gift it to others, and eventually it finds its way back to Bluey. This time, she uses the second chance to give the money to Busker, a street musician. What's funny is that Busker holds onto that bill for quite a while. Keen-eyed viewers will notice he still has it in later episodes, like Dance Mode, where the money can be seen sitting in his hat. The last time we see this bill is in the Silence Game, where Busker finally spends it on ice cream. By the way, that pink bill isn't something made up for the show, it's actually the real Australian $5 note, which makes sense since the series takes place in Australia. What's interesting is that while the real Bill has Queen Elizabeth on it, Bluey's version features a dog who's clearly their world's version of the Queen. And fittingly, the dog is a Corgi, Queen Elizabeth's favorite breed. It's so cool how they make this world feel so relatable. I can almost imagine a dog version of myself living there. Bluey is full of fun references to various movies, and one of them is a nod to Batman. It happens in the episode Fruit Bat, where Bluey dreams that she can fly like a bat and soars past the moon. This scene closely resembles a shot from the 1989 Batman movie directed by Tim Burton, where the Dark Knight's plane flies past the moon in a similar way. There's another cool detail involving a car that ties into Winton's family, one of Bluey's friends. In the episode TV shop, you can see a drawing on the back window of Cornelius' car, Winton's dad. It shows a child and an adult next to a figure that seems to have been erased. It's likely the child represents Winton, the adult is Cornelius, and the erased figure was Winton's mom, removed due to their divorce. Poor Winton, seeing your parents split up must be rough. Who knows how the little guy is coping? On top of that, we've seen Cornelius with different women throughout the series. This probably means he's been on several dates trying to find love again. In Curry Odyssey, Cornelius can be spotted in the airport crowd waiting for someone's arrival, likely a woman he met online and was about to meet in person for the first time. Fortunately, he eventually formed a strong bond with the mother of the Terriers, and it's great to know he didn't give up before finding happiness. Here's hoping the couple continues to thrive. Some people might have a hard time figuring out the gender of some characters in the show without paying attention to their voices, but the creators of the show thought of that and created two ways to tell if a dog is male or female. First of all, most male dogs in the show are 
are a bit bulkier than the females. Additionally, females usually sit with their legs close together, while males tend to sit with their legs further apart. In the episode Copycat, we see Bluey sitting with her legs spread apart while imitating her dad. Bingo also sits like this when she imitates a guy. So even the characters in the show notice this, and it's a cool way of making the world feel more unique. It's more proof that the creators aren't clueless and carefully think through details for fans like us to catch on the second or third watch. Another slightly dark fact about Bluey is that wars exist in this world, which we know because the protagonist's grandpa is a war hero. Also, Rusty's dad works for the Australian Army, which is why he's often away from home. It sends shivers down my spine to think about what kind of wars might have taken place in their world. Could they have been the same as in our real world? If you think about it that way, the world of Bluey might be scarier than we realize. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and discover more cool facts about your favorite shows. Another thing confirmed to exist in Bluey is the Bible. In the episode Family Meeting, Chili says to Bluey, the truth will set you free, which is a direct quote from the Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 32. Another reference happens in the episode Easter, where Bluey and her sister find Easter eggs behind a yoga ball. This moment is clearly a nod to the scene where Jesus' tomb is opened and he comes back to life. That's pretty wild, huh? In a way, it could mean that there were canine versions of the apostles and maybe even Jesus Christ in Bluey's universe. Since Bandit is an archaeologist, he sometimes has to travel to other countries. You can easily tell by looking at his office, as it's filled with various items that seem to come from different parts of the world. For instance, there's a mask that looks like it was taken from an African village, and a very cool samurai sword. Thinking about it, Bluey's dad must have been on countless adventures during his travels. I'd love to see episodes focusing on his expeditions. Go away! There's a possibility that Bluey's family might have been in a car accident at some point, although no one was seriously hurt. One clue is that Bingo used to wear a two-point seatbelt in Season 1, Episode 35, but in Season Season 2, Episode 46, she switches to a three-point seatbelt, which is more appropriate for someone her age. The reason for this change might be because she got injured in an accident, which could be true, since she's seen in the hospital in the episode Barnicus and Bumpy. Rusty's family has a unique feature that sets them apart from the other characters in Bluey. This is because they are red Australian Kelpies, which often have marks on their chests. Each member of Rusty's family has this mark, and each one has a different shape. Rusty has a diamond, his mom has a lightning bolt, his dad has a triangle, his brother has a downward arrow, and his sister has a small circle. Each of Rusty's family members has a different symbol on their chest. Now, an interesting detail in Bluey revolves around Socks, who is Bluey's youngest cousin. While all the other characters are dogs that act like humans, Socks behaves more like a real dog. A lot of people have started theorizing that this could be a sign that the character has some form of neurodivergence, like autism or something similar. Personally, I think the character was deliberately created to represent someone with some kind of developmental delay, and it's a very clever way they found to address the topic indirectly. Bluey really has a lot of interesting secrets, don't you think? I'm wrapping up the fun facts here, but you just need to click one of the two videos on the screen to keep enjoying yourself. Thanks, and see you next time.